Hey, what is happening? What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. So, no tutorial today. What I'm going to do is give you 10 Blender tips, tricks, that kind of stuff that can be useful. If you're a beginner, even if you're experienced, you might not know one or two things. So, what I'm going to do is give them to you. And I might just give you an extra one at number 11 if you stick around. If, you, if, you, if you're good and you stick around. So, enough uh, chit chat. Let's get into it. Number one. Let's start with the first one. So first thing you want to do is go shift A, mesh, get like a plane. And I'm just going to S, scale it up a little bit. Then what you want to do is hit tab. Then go here. Click on one, go E and extrude it up. Then you want to click on this and go control B. Bring your mouse to the down and then roll your middle scroll wheel a few times. Then hit tab, right click, shade smooth. Now, what you can do is make sure it's selected, go to modifiers, and look for a solidify. Click on it, and then what you can do is bring the thickness up. And then what you can do is you can make it a bit smaller. And then you can always put like holes and create like weird things so you can click on it go shift d duplicate it go r rotate it and then another one shift d r twice and just literally create weird weird things you can always go in and put holes in it so you can click here let's delete these so boom boom you can get a cylinder so shift a mesh cylinder s Scale it down, make sure it goes through. Right click, shade smooth. Okay, then what you want to do is click on this, go to modifiers, so add, and type in Boolean. Add this one, make sure difference is selected. Then you want to select the cylinder. So, boom. And then hide the cylinder. And obviously it doesn't look perfect because you haven't basically subdivided the, the cylinder or made it perfectly round but i'm not going to do it because i'm just going to show you a quick way to do it and then just hide it there and you can put holes in like that and yeah it's not smooth obviously because i'm trying to make this video not too long so let's jump into number two number two is a good way to bring in a model so in the previous video, I used this technique, but basically what you want to do is click here, edit, preferences, add-ons, click on images, or type in images, and enable that. So check it, save preferences, and then what you want to do is download like a, you can just Google silhouette PNG of a man in a suit with a gun, and then download it, go shift A, Go to image, images as planes, and then I've got one here. You see, that's what it looks like. Click on it, import, and then let's go here. And you can see it just brings in silhouettes, so you won't see the actual plane. So, what I'll do is I'll show you in a, another file. Give me a second. Now, I'm actually going to look so it'll look like this. So, if you zoom in, you can see. Obviously it's still loading, but you can see you don't see the actual image. It looks like a silhouette of a man, model, that kind of stuff. So that's a quick way to do that. Number three is save your default starter file. So you can see this is different to a lot of people's blenders when they start up. So this is quick plug. If you want to check out the Patreon, if you join as a member for free, you can download this starter file and then save it. Let's show you how to do it. So what you do, you create it. You go to file, you go to default, you click save start our file, and it will save it as this. So next time you go into Blender, so let me just show you quickly. So if I move this, yeah, okay, you can see it's a bit bigger. Now I go yeah, click yeah, default, save start our file. Let's see if I load it now, it will come up like with a file like that. See, and then if you want it, bring it back that's how i want it 
something like this and then just click boom default save start our file and it will load like this so cool way to customize things now let's just bring in a model so shift a mesh monkey and now what you want to do is you can toggle like front view side view that kind of stuff with the number pad so if you hit one it brings in the front view three that side nine the other side seven top eight moves it around and then six gives you and four and then you can always move it now you can see it stays nicely in line so five goes back to normal view boom you can go around you can go to one three seven nine and then five just switches them around up and down and then yeah so that's how it is quick way to like if you've got an object and you want to you don't want to go like this and you can't get it perfect just hit one boom zoom in you can always hide the camera and now you've got the front view number five is using blender hdri like is using the blender default hdris so click here so you don't want to if you want to like light the scene you can just click on here and then if you want to view it click this uncheck this and it brings in the blender hdri and if you want to change it you can change it to this one it just changes the lighting like that because if i go to shading so boom yeah we'll see this is it now if i change it changes hdris boom so you can play around with it but just a quick tip if you render like the scene so let's say layout i've got the hdri in and the camera is on the scene so let's say i want to render this like this you'll see if i go f12 it'll be dark you can see it doesn't like the scene so you'll have to add a hdr yourself this is just to preview things okay number six might be a bit of a quick one but you can see if you want like a full screen so a lot of times when you open blender you got the bottom windows taskbar so all you do you click out your window toggle full screen and you can see this is normally what happens and all you do there boom and you get the full screen just looks better okay now quick lighting scene so if i've got a quick scene here let me just go like this boom s scale it up then go tab like we did with the first trick but i'm not gonna solidify it but boom Control B, boom, tab, shade smooth. Now I get a model, so shift A, mesh, monkey, G, bring it up, something like that. Got a camera, let's just get it nice, S. Now let's say we want to light the scene, so yeah, boom, everything is dark. You can make this completely dark now. What you want to do is go to edit, preferences, add-ons, type in try, and check this, save it, and now select object, go to shift A, go to light, and type in, and select that, and now it adds a light. Now what you'll have to do is go to key light, and just change the color, I mean not the color, the power, so 50. And then you can change this one also make it about 25 full 52 and then you can always add more lights so like bring it up the more the better but it locks onto the object and quick way to light the scene okay number eight I'm not really gonna this is a quick one this one as well what you want to do is if you want to get nice better colors and you've got blender 4.0 further than that obviously like any versions after that what you want to do is click render and output so you've got to output go down to color management and select from filmic to agx it just looks a little bit more natural looks better if you want you can youtube like look at videos on the differences and learn a bit more about it but yeah it does look a bit nicer 
and it's what I use at the moment so try it out okay next thing if you want to add a quick ocean or like water it's very easy shift a mesh plane then go to modifiers and search for ocean and there we go and then all you need to do is you can change the size and go to waves change the scale and it's that easy obviously this doesn't have any material on it but you can always literally click here new bring the metallic up bring the roughness down and change it to like a blue and obviously that's not exactly like water but you can throw on a water material but i'm just showing you that you have to add a material on it unfortunately number 10 is a cool one so let's say we use the array modifier and you go shift a mesh cube and you just go here hit modifiers new array and then and then just bring the count something like that and then apply it so boom now if I, you can see if i click on this it's all one let's say i want to move one or i want to change the color on one and yeah you want to basically edit each one separately what you can do is hit tab and just go select a to select all and then go p separate by loose parts and now hit tab you can see you've got different cubes so now if i go g you can move it around they're all separate okay and that's number 10 so i did tell you i would give you number 11 if you stuck around so let's do it now let's say you want to create a quick landscape i've done this in another video but it's pretty awesome to use so you go shift a mesh plane s scale it up okay then what you want to do is hit tab right click subdivide boom just make it about 50 then stay in edit mode what you want to do is go yeah and enable proportional editing make it smooth and then click yeah so let's just go to camera click on this one and then hit g then roll your scroll wheel to make it bigger and then lift it and you can go yeah g same thing g make it big there boom g and then yeah g make it flatter and this creates basically like a terrain landscape hit tab right click shade smooth and you can create landscape like this terrain that kind of stuff then what you could do is throw on grass rocks that kind of stuff and if i go back to camera you can see it's a lot better than just a flat plane so hopefully you enjoyed this video and because obviously i can't like i could make a video for each like trick but i thought i'd combine it into one video hopefully you enjoyed the video check out the patreon make sure you subscribe and i'll see you next video peace